so hi guys it's me Azel and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're gonna having an upside and clothes tutorial so let's proceed to the video so first all you need is lumang damit na hindi nyo nagaano sinusuot at gunting at ito naman yung kanyang sleeve kinat ko lang siya ng paganyan ng parang at ito yung magiging bust cup ng ating top ito naman yung pinaka base nya ito yung magiging front and back ng ating top so gawa kayo ng front ito yung magiging design ng ating front at ito naman yung magiging back part natin parang tango lang siya para sa ating back part at this is the front look likes and place the back part then sew the side seam first i-attach muna natin yung sides so since wala tayong aging machine na magagamit so ito yung magiging hitsura ng pag tahi natin ng side seam para magiging clean finish yung risota fold mo lang siya ng 1 fourth na pa ganyan then so So, this is the result ng ginawa natin. Uh, clean finish yung nagiging resulta niya. So, proceed na tayo sa front. If we fold mo lang ng 1 inch yung front natin. At ito yung magiging placket para sa ating button parts. So, tapos na tayo sa ating front pocket at natahi ko na rin yung kabila. At ito yung nagiging hitsura ng ating front. Then, proceed muna tayo sa ating bust cup at na-attach ko na yung other side and I'll show you how I did it. So, para sa paggawa ng ating bust cap, make a temporary stitch at make sure na naka-loose tension yung adjustment ng iyong machine. So, ito yung purpose kung bakit dapat naka-loose tension yung machine adjustment mo. Because need natin siya i-pull out yung thread to divide a nice shearing design ng ating bust cup. So after natin ma-attach yung ating bus cap, I make a zigzag stitch to secure ends and then nagtahin na din ako ng stitch sa under bust for a cleaner look. 
Then cut an inch wide fabric para sa ating piping all the way to the front and back. Then cut an inch wide fabric para sa ating string strap. So, after natin ma-attach yung ating straps, proceed naman tayo sa ating front. So, measure a 3 inches distance para sa ating buttonhole. Ito yung first na ginawa ko na buttonhole. Since wala tayong buttonhole machine, ginawa ko lang siya manually. For the button hole, if you fold mo lang siya in a half, tapos gugupitin mo lang siya at make sure hindi mo isasaga doon sa pinaka sinulid niya para hindi siya magro-row age kapag ini-insert na natin yung buttons. Okay, we're almost done. So, after natin ma-attach yung mga buttons, fold an inch wide para sa ating bottom hem. Okay guys, this is the final result ng ating upcycling clothes video tutorial. And I hope nagustuhan nyo po yung video tutorial natin. And if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please like and subscribe. Thank you.